this one continuation of thrombosis video already pathogen introduction and pathogenesis is completed now types of thrombus there are three types based on their site of origin they classified into cardiac that means a uh, heart valves in heart inner layer endocardium uh, having thrombus this one name is called as mural thrombus second one is arterial wall having thrombus arterial thrombi that venous having okay it, uh, that thrombus form in inside venous name is called as venous thrombi so uh, thrombi on heart valves it is called as it also have that name vegetation then arterial thrombus it containing more platelet okay less fibrin more platelet so it um, uh, it have white in color pale whitish color then line of zogan is presented the, that means platelet rbc platelet rbc alternative way is presented so it have a lark the dark and a light staining so that name is called as line of zogan and then third one is venous thrombi is also called as statis thrombi so we already known um, that alternative blood flow so it comes under uh, satis thrombi here red in color a big uh, here no line of zogan okay only red in color full occupying occlusive occlusive uh, that means that uh, clot fully occupying that blood valves so what are the different between arterial and venous uh, thrombus means this one is organ so here white white having white or yellowish color means because of more amount of platelet here red in color because of rbc this one is the mural partially affected this one occlusive fully affected okay full that blood valves full affected then line of organ is presented because of platelet and rbc line of socket presented here not presented so here blood flow is this one is the normal blood flow okay so this one name is called as rt grade this one is the retrograde what is retrograde means opposite blood flow see that arrow opposite uh, blood flow so retrograde uh, so here not fully affected partially affected mural only so here it will causes ischemia complication for arterial um, artery uh, thrombus uh, ischemia and infraction so here fully affected okay if this thrombus fully affected vein so it uh, here it will causes edema uh, this one is the line of sohan platelet and rbc it look like beach line border water land how it is presented this diagram I attached so crossly here white thrombi because of more platelet less fibrin here red thrombi because of rbc few platelet only presented this one then main future uh, different between arterial thrombus and venous thrombus pathogenesis this one is uh, causing endothelial injury so venous alternative blow, uh, blood flow two type turbulence comes under uh, arterial thrombus stasis comes under venous thrombus then blood flow here normal only here less because fully affected mm. um, this one site what are the site affected uh, here um, coronary cerebral and femoral arteries here superficial and deep leg vein affected then we already known propagation that blood flow retrograde manner this one adequate manner then line of zogan present absent microscopically pale platelet layer alternative with a dark red cell uh, already we know so, okay so here that line of zogan presented here uh, rbc mixed less platelet so red thrombi only presented this occlusion occlusion in incomplete not fully affected okay incomplete fully completely affected so here complication ischemia infraction here edema and ulceration next clinical effect of cardiac thrombi it causes sudden death because of mechanical obstruction of blood flow 
arterial thrombi ischemia necrosis so it causes infarct then leads to gangrene also venous thrombus causes thromboembolism edema poor wound healing skin ulcer then painful thrombosed vein then last important things fat of thrombus uh, four major factor is there first one is resolution second one is organization third one is propagation fourth one is thromboembolism so first fat resolution so normally here what will happen this one is the thrombus okay chances for decreasing in size decreasing in size how it will decrease blood have plasmalogen plasmalogen activate plasmin so uh, uh, because of plasmalogen because of fibro fibrinolytic activity here lysis process will occur so normally blood formation like this it will reduce see decrease that size that name is called as resolution second one is organization here size not reducing how it form that black like same size so fixed size only third one is propagation increase in size normal size after that it become increasing that name is called as propagation then thromboembolism uh, detaching flow in blood so first uh, resolution means decreases in uh, size organization means um, um, or a fixed size not decreasing propagation means increasing size thrombo embolism means it flow in blood it will affected other organ chances for calcification also thrombus calcify okay so this one is um so we start to treatment treatment purpose we are using anticoagulant and compression stocking blood clot in vascular lumen so in this video we discussed a thrombus secondary secondary and primary blood formation then what is embolism pathophysiology virchow triad endothelial injury abnormal blood flow then hypercoagulability what is endothelial injury because of prothrombic and antithrombic factor it causes endothelial injury second one is alternation of blood flow two type of blood flow turbulence and stasis factor hypercoagulability thrombophilia uh, here also these two factor because of hereditary or acute these two factor imbalance so it will causes thrombosis example of this factors type of thrombus based on the site of origin three places but the main things arterial and venous thrombus so simple this diagram explaining those uh, these two arterial and ven venous thrombus crossly then different between arterial and venous thing clinical effect cardiac thrombosis causes sudden death uh, uh, this uh, arterial thrombosis causes infarct fat resolution organization propagation and thromboembolism treatment anticoagulant compressive stocking thanks for watching